Welcome students, Tom Harmer here, your accounting professor. And this is a demonstration of how to prepare a statement of cash flows from comparative balance sheets and income statement and additional information. Presented here are the financial statements for the Harrison Company, comparative balance sheets for 2011, 2010, and the income statement for 2011. We have additional data and we need to prepare a statement of cash flows using the indirect method and compute free cash flow. The first step is to review the comparative balance sheets and determine the amount of the increase or decrease year to year in the different accounts. The most significant account that we're going to be analyzing is the cash account. We have a $30,000 increase that we need to explain away by the statement of cash flows. In the statement of cash flows, starting with the cash flows from operating activity section, we start with net income, and we look at the income statement, and we find that we have net income of $42,000. Then we look at adjustments to reconcile net income to net cash provided by operating activities. In additional data number three, we see that depreciation expense is $14,500. Okay, that depreciation expense was found down here in additional information. It says all depreciation expense, 14500 is in the operating expenses because our income statement here just had operating expenses they didn't break out the detail so we had to get the depreciation expense from the um, uh, additional information we see that accounts payable has an increase of 14,000 this is a source of cash and it's included in the section of operating activities. A decrease in income taxes payable of $1,000 is the use of cash, so we have minus $1,000. We see that we have an increase in inventory of $7,000 So this is a use of cash. And we have an increase in accounts of Siebel, 14,000. This is also a use of cash. Next, we run a total on all the adjustments. We have Total of 6,500. So the net cash provided by operating activities is 48,500. From additional data number two, during the year equipment was sold for 8,500 cash. The equipment cost 18,000 originally and at a book value of 8,500 at the time of the sale. So the cash inflow from the sale of equipment, 8,500 is included in the vesting activity section. Now, <clears throat> just to explain this, in the additional information section here, item two says, during the year equipment was sold for $8,500 cash. The equipment cost $18,000 originally and had a book value of $8,500 at the time of the sale. Therefore, you can see there was no gain or loss on the sale of the uh, equipment. If there had been, we would have had up here in our income statement a gain or loss, or this would be, a, if it was a gain, it would be a gain on the sale. If it was a loss, it would be negative, a loss on the sale. That is one of the first items that uh, we account for when we're doing the operating section of the statement of cash flows. In this case, they didn't have a number there just to keep it a little simpler. Just wanted to mention to you that that is a typical item that we see in this um, 
in this exercise. Next, we look at the cash flows from financing activities. We look at common stock. There's an increase in common stock of $4,000. So there's a cash inflow from the issuance of common stock in the amount of $4,000. We look at bonds payable. There's a reduction of $6,000. This is a result of the redemption of bonds payable, which is an outflow of cash in the amount of 6000 We also see that in additional data number one, dividends declared and paid were 25000 This is an outflow of cash. So we run a total on the financing activity section so we have an outflow of cash of 27000 in the financing activity section. So we determine the total change to cash. We add the net cash provided by operating activities of 48500 8500 cash flows from investing activities. And an outflow of 27000 in financing activities. So there's a net increase in cash of 30,000. We have cash at the beginning of the period of 20,000. So the cash at the end of the period is 50,000. So if we go over here to our comparative balance sheet, there was our beginning balance at the end of December of 2010 was 20,000 and then we had uh, an increase of 30,000 during the year of 2011 with an ending balance there at 50,000. And you see that is has to be confirmed in the statement of cash flows. Over here we end up showing the net increase in cash, the beginning cash, and there's your ending cash. All ties right to the cash line right here. That ties into the balance sheet ending balance in cash. Free cash flow is computed by subtracting expenditures on planned assets and dividends paid from net cash provided by operating activities. In this case, free cash flow is $23,500. There you go. There is your demonstration of uh, preparing a statement of cash flows.